BookTube, my name is Shannon and today I am going to be doing the Book Lover Survival Tag. This tag was created by Penguin Teen and they created it based off of the book A Map for Wrecked Girls which is coming out or has just come out very soon if it's not out yet. That was confusing but I think you got what I meant. Anyway, they are releasing this book soon and it follows a pair of sisters that end up getting stranded on an island and this tag is created based on that as a tag of which books you would take with you if you got stranded on a deserted island. Penguin is not sponsoring me or anything. They did not send me a book or anything like that, but I saw a lot of other booktubers who are sponsored by Penguin do this tag and it sounded really fun, so I thought I would participate as well. Anyway, without further ado, let's talk about which books I would take with me to this imagined desert island. The first book I have chosen is The Book Thief, and this book is just so monumental to me in the way that it shaped me as a person. It is a World War II story, and it's actually narrated by death, which is very morbid sounding, but it makes the story very poignant and a lot more emotional than it would have been without that aspect. This follows a girl named Liesel and she is living in World War II times and it's just amazing. I don't want to like give anything away about the plot but this book is definitely one of my all-time favorites and I could not compile a list of books that I would take with me on a deserted island without including this one. It's such an amazing book and I forgot to say it's by Marcus Zusak. It's amazing. Next I would bring Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This book this is just the dust jacket because one of my friends is borrowing it right now but Oh my goodness, I love this book incredibly much. That's not even like grammatically correct, I don't think. But it's um, a hero story as told by Rainbow Rowell in her perspective on what a hero story would be like. So it's very similar to Harry Potter um, and it's kind of like fan fiction for Harry Potter. Um, but it's just so good and the main characters are in a gay relationship and it's just, it's everything and it makes me so happy. <laughs> the next book I would take with me is one that would be probably more relatable to me as I'm on this desert, deserted, which one is it? Island. Anyway, and that book is Nim's Island by Wendy Orr. These books, oh my gosh, there's more than just this one, but I loved these books as a kid and they were my favorite and I would play as Nim all the time and just climb my tree in my front yard and pretend to be Nim from Nim's Island because I loved this book and the movie and it's just fantastic. Um, this girl and her father end up on an island. I think they are shipwrecked or something, but they live in isolation. It's been a while since I read the book, but they live in isolation and have this complete life on this island by themselves. And it's just fantastic. And I think it would help me feel less alone and understand how to maybe survive on an island more. The next book that I would take with me is Cress, which is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. And I absolutely love this series and Cress was probably my favorite book of those. And I would definitely want Marissa Meyer's beautiful writing to get me through this time on this island but also, this book 
takes place partly in a desert and it's kind of an adventure story as people characters are crossing a desert so I think that could be helpful for survival on this island and I would just really enjoy reading about these characters and reading the beautiful writing of Marissa Meyer who is one of my favorite authors ever. Predictably, I had to include Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because what is any video of mine without this book? <laughs> I love this book with so much of my heart and it really helped me through a time when I was really having a lot of social anxiety like Kath has and I think this book would just warm my heart and be there for me whenever I needed it if I were stranded on an island. I also wanted to have a non-fiction, um, more poetic book to bring with me on this island that would help me to be able to ponder my emotions more and for this I've chosen Note to Self by Connor Franta. I really, really enjoyed reading this book. It's a compilation of poetry and short essay type story things. Um, so it's basically a book of creative nonfiction works by the YouTuber Connor Franta. And I really, really enjoyed this book and I think it would be very nice to just have something so poetic and beautiful with um, beautiful photography as well to read while I'm on this island when I just need a break and need to maybe check in with myself. And finally, I had to include Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This series is what really got me into reading more than anything else. I've always loved to read from a very young age, but this series really made me fall in love with the idea of being able to go to a different world through reading. And it's just so special to me. I have a whole review video on this book and I just had to include it in my list of books that I would take with me to a deserted island because what would life be without a little bit of magic and lumos in it? So that is it for this tag video. I hope you had fun watching it and I definitely enjoyed filming it. So I will see you next week with another one. Bye. Hello, BookTube. <clears throat> Why is my voice so good? It's a struggle as a singer and a YouTuber. <clears throat> okay, let's try that again. I need to take all the books. How can I choose five? I chose six or seven. I think I chose seven, but still.